Okay, next the media player. So this is the small view, which um, looks like it's a little different for the favorite selection here. So the two right icons under V8, uh, the input source and search icons, have been replaced with the favorite and the settings under V9. And then that's the new uh, medium view. Here's what it looked like in uh, V8. And that's changed a lot. You used to have two little clicks here for recent or favorites. Now they've combined the two. And uh, you slide over to see your recent and then your uh, four favorite. I would like to have my favorites on this side, I think, and then the recent over there, because I usually just uh, toggle between my favorites. Although you can use, let me turn on the light here, you can use uh, this left and right to switch between your favorites, um, which I use a lot. Uh, another big difference is your input sources used to be, I think, a selection in here. Uh, now you have your input sources uh, all there with the search. Uh, they're always available on the bottom. They're not available on the small screen, but they are available on the mid screen and the full screen. So I installed my USB drive and uh, my USB music pops up. I think this is pretty similar. You can uh, look at it by artists, albums, genre, or folders. Now, what I found out by reading is that once you create the Tesla Cam folder with just Tesla Cam, uh, you can't access your USB music. I guess maybe they don't want to use the Cam and music at the same time, perhaps. Uh, so once you, if you have a USB drive with Tesla Cam and your music on the same um, USB drive, uh, you won't be able to access your music. Uh, but if you rename your Tesla Cam folder, uh, then you can access your music. So I guess you either need two USB drives, one for music, one for Cam, uh, or maybe they'll fix that. Uh, but that was something I just found out. And you have radio. Uh, there is a direct tune feature, but I think we've had that in the Model uh, 3. Uh, streaming, uh, phone, of course, if you have music on your phone, tune in, uh, USB, and then your search. And this is the full screen. I don't think that's changed too much. Your search results also, if you do a search for, let's say, rock. I uh, don't think that's changed too much. The same uh, sections, or you can scroll to see all the sections. So you can either just look at uh, the, uh, the search for uh, that within that subset. So I don't believe that's changed too much. But uh, the input selection is here different. Here's a nice trick. Uh, when you have uh, the media player uh, in the middle position, double tap and it'll uh, lower to the uh, low position. So one tap goes one position at a time and uh, two taps takes you two positions and then you can uh, drag also to the positions. And let's play some music. The favorite was a heart here. It looks like they've replaced that with uh, this star over there. Um, but besides that, everything else looks the same. Yeah, the equalizer looks like the same. Balance. That's really cool. You can position where the music is graphically. That's been there. Oh, these are two new options. Explicit content. I guess that means on and DJ commentary. I have no idea really what that is. Um, allow mobile control. I've got to find the mobile app that allows someone else to control the uh, music. So that's the media player changes. I was in Nashville this week and I saw the Stacy Mitchart band at the Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar. Definitely check it out if you ever get down to Nashville.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.